Tonight, our focus is on seafood and specifically a movement to ensure sustainable seafood. Millennials want to know where the food is coming from. People don't know how to cook fish. The data show that eating more seafood is good for you, especially when cooked at home. But Americans often hesitate to buy it outside of a restaurant setting. In part, that's because cooking fish at home can be daunting. But there are also plenty of other reasons why people may avoid the seafood counter. The American Heart Association recommends everyone eat fish at least twice a week. Lovers of food with scales and shells, beware because there's something fishy going on with America's seafood. It's really people just capitalizing on people not really having a full knowledge base about fish. The report blames industrial fishing for scraping the ocean nearly clean of some species. All while feeding the growth of a brutal transnational people trafficking industry. A growing number of Americans want to know where their food originates for reasons ranging from health to socioeconomic and environmental sustainability. When it comes to seafood, a lack of transparency makes it difficult to source seafood with confidence. Meal kit delivery services like Blue Apron, HelloFresh, and Sunbasket are uniquely positioned to radically change America's relationship to seafood. These services remove many of the barriers to cooking fish at home by providing step-by-step -step directions and precisely measured ingredients, ingredients that they frequently claim are sustainable. At Blue Apron, we're working with leading sustainability experts to develop higher standards for food. So you can be sure you're getting higher quality ingredients that are also better for the earth. Get $30 off at Blue Apron. The leading meal kit delivery services talk a lot about how they are reinventing what they see as a broken food system in America. In the case of seafood, they frequently talk about how the meal kit can connect consumers with domestic, sustainably harvested and farmed fish and shellfish, which is a big deal considering that upwards of 90% of the seafood Americans consume is imported from countries lacking both the sustainability and food safety regulations to which U.S. fisheries and farms adhere. While this certainly sounds good on the surface, some industry observers wonder if it's too good to be true especially given the competitive nature of the space and some of the challenges meal kit delivery services are encountering. Are there data to back up the sustainability claims made by these companies? Claims that are often front and center in marketing materials aimed at sustainably minded consumers who increasingly make up a larger percentage of their target audience? What does it mean when Blue Apron claims 100% sustainable seafood? or when HelloFresh uses the word sustainable more than 600 times on its website. Sustainability, unfortunately, is a bit like the word natural. It's come to be table stakes in many ways. I think if you went down the seafood aisle of a retailer or any meal kit company, they're going to need to claim that their seafood is sustainable. I would say that the variability around how sustainable it is, is wide, but unfortunately that's where we're at. I'm Rhett Talbot, inviting you to join my guests and me when we go beyond the data and take a deep dive into meal kit delivery services and sustainable seafood in the next episode of the Beyond Data podcast, coming this Thursday to Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts. I hope you'll join us. And if you missed episode one on New York's oyster toadfish fishery, this would be a great time to give it a listen and subscribe so every episode of the Beyond Data podcast will be delivered to you automatically. Thanks for listening.